welcome to December. It's an amazing month. So by now, probably some of you or most of you have spent some time with family over, over Thanksgiving, and maybe it was really good, maybe it was perfect, and maybe it was challenging, and maybe you noticed a lot of difference, dif- differences with you and your family members, and, and that's all good. And I want to talk today about differences. So, <clears throat> um, you know, we've been together a really, really long time. And when we were were first together and and then and then wanting to get married, people really truly discouraged us. Actually, everyone discouraged us. Probably especially Barry's childhood rabbi. Um, it just this was something that just wasn't done. A Jewish person marrying someone that wasn't Jewish. No one had ever heard of it. And of course, now it's it's actually kind of common, but then it then it wasn't. And then when we got engaged, the big question is, well, where are you going to get married, and who would marry you? And that that was a big question because we didn't we didn't know. And and this was before alternative type weddings. I mean, now people get married in the woods, by waterfalls, in in their home, in their garden, by their friends. Yeah, yeah. But you know, at that time, you needed to get married by a minister, or pastor, or rabbi, or you know, someone <clears throat> strongly affiliated with with a religious order. Mm. So. Um, it got closer and closer to the time when we wanted to get married because Barry was in medical school and and he only had December 21st, actually. That's all he had. So my mother said, well, why don't you talk to the minister at the church that she went to? And this was a church um, right right on the edge of the University of Buffalo. So it... it it, it had to be more open and liberal because a lot of students came through. So we met with this man, the Reverend Davis, and he he was like the greatest teacher for us. And this is what he said, and I, I hope I hope that this might might help all of you because you're probably feeling with someone in your life that the differences are just too great. So he looked at us and he heard he heard our story and he said I will marry you on one condition and that is that you honor each other's differences and you realize that the difference that you that you have are going to bless the re- the relationship wasn't that good advice I mean, you think about it. It's so amazing to love someone who's very different than you and to allow that to bless your relationship. So getting back to your to your family. So my brother, I love my brother very much. He's an older brother. Politically, we are couldn't be more different, like 180 degrees or even more, if that was possible. And, and he has very strong opinions. We can't go there even a little bit, because I, I have strong opinions myself. And, you know, sometimes I think, oh my gosh, and, and there's religious differences too, big differences. But we have committed to loving each other and not letting these differences stand in the way. We know they're there. We know they're big. And we know that we can't go there in our, in our talking with each other. But just to be in, in other ways together, in ways, of, in ways of the heart. And differences can really, they can be annoying sometimes. I mean, Sometimes with my brother, you know, if, if he does leak a little bit, some of his opinions, but the love is so deep, always going back to the love. So with us, <laughs> <laughs> the, 
this December, we set up a Christmas tree. I love to decorate for Christmas. You probably see it maybe in the next video. But we also get out the menorah and light the candles. And this year, they both happen at the same time, which will be pretty amazing. But we've always done this all, all the years of our marriage. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. And it's honoring each other's differences that um, is, is really, it's, Barry's Jewishness has really blessed my heart deeply. And I'm sure my... Absolutely. ...has blessed your heart. You have blessed me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll share one difference that just popped into my mind. Um, and actually, this almost put an end to our leading workshops and talking together. Um, Joyce has um, a need for, before she speaks, to feel inwardly more deeply than I do, maybe. She, it takes her more time to, to actually speak something. So early on in our work together, Joyce would say something. She wouldn't be done, but there would be a pause. And in that pause... I just assumed she was done, and I would start speaking. And she'd feel interrupted, and that wouldn't feel good. So what I've learned is, um, I've really learned to pause myself, right? And take the time, and when she speaks, to just allow that spaciousness between sentences, the breath, you know, <laughs> It's, it's really helped me a lot. It's <laughs> oh, <that's> beautiful, Perry. <laughs> and you have a song about this. All my songs are about this. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, um, I have to say, in one week... Joyce and I will have been together 60 years. <laughs> That's pretty special. Differences and all. Okay, ready? I give to you, you give to me, we are all one together. We're in this world for such a short time, we need to make the most of it. If we learn to give and receive love We'll find peace and happiness I'm loving you, you're loving me We are all one forever I'm loving you you're loving me We are all one forever We're in this world For such a short time We need to make the most of it If we learn to give And receive love We'll find peace and happiness I give to you, you give to me We are all one together I'm 
loving you You're loving me We are all one forever So take a moment with your eyes closed to make a commitment to really honor people's differences. Even if they challenge you or push your buttons, it's remember the differences that make a person unique and beautiful and lovable. All right, that will deepen all of your relationships. Okay, so you can open your eyes. And um, once again, thank you so much for being with us. And know that we love you and we send you all love. Thank you so much for watching this. And may you have a blessed beginning of of this magical month of December. All right. Notice I wasn't interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> you have learned. <laughs> I've learned. <laughs> <laughs>